Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am Amanda. I'm going to jump in real quick. I've, I've been sitting here in your energy and it's just been so quick, crazy. I'm going to do a reading. This is your reading for um, no, the end of November. I've been sitting in your energy and I heard this song, um, Jump and Jive. Oh y'all, and I have not heard these songs in like 20 years probably. I heard the song Jump and Jive right off bat and I was like what in the world and then I heard that song uh, by Manf uh, Manfred I think Do I Diddy and I was like oh my gosh y'all that has to be like a like a sock hop you know how they have sock hops and they play that old you know that jiving music or whatever the soul I don't know like you know that old music anyways so um I sat there and I was thinking and it was kind of like there was a lot of I got like a lot of good vibrations like a lot of happiness cheerfulness you know a really good time and I was thinking about how you know and I was I was seeing somebody think about this and they were like reminiscing on these good times that they've had and then I was shuffling through your cards and the queen of pentacles kept coming out and I feel like you're going to tell, you might tell a queen of pentacles that, you know, this might be like a mother figure or something like that. But I really feel like you're going to recognize that individual. She might be having a birthday coming up or, you know, just during Thanksgiving, you might be staying with your mother or, you know, you're just going to recognize your mother in a different light. Or if he doesn't, if you don't have a mother, this is going to be like a female in your life or someone that you know a best friend or somebody that's very nurturing that you're just going to recognize and i feel like you're gonna maybe talk to this person about how you've been through it and how you know in the last few years you know you've been through a lot and every everybody has you know and you're going to talk about that and you're going to talk about how the good old days were like you know, like when you used to go to sock ops or whatever. Not per se, not everybody has been to it. I haven't even been to a sock op, I don't think. <laughs> so, I'm um, just saying, like, you know, you're going to talk about the good times and the times that you were celebrating. And I feel like that's going to bring some, some balance. Or you're going to talk about how much balance that you have brought into your life. Because we've got the um, temperance on the bottom. Let's get started. Two of cups on the bottom. It's like a union. Strength. Seven of wands. Nine of wands. Somebody has a block. Okay. Hmm. There's that queen of pentacles. Strength, the nine of wands, the seven of wands, and that would reduce down to two of wands. I feel like you're making plans and decisions of some sort, and you're holding back. You're trying to build your strength before you move forward. You've been going through some burdens. The ten of wands is here. Uh, what else? Do we have any more wands? No. And the Ten of Wands is here for your uh, conquest and destruction. What's going on right now is you cannot handle anymore. You can't handle any more burdens. And, and it's showing. Because you're trying to bring your strength up. You've come to a place where you're just... You're wore down. The Six of Swords is here for your science. And I really feel like that's you picking up and walking away from the situation. From these burdens. Whatever these burdens are. Uh, the inspiration of it is you calling law, you saying, you know, what's fair. And making sure things run fairly. The qualities and leadership is the Ten of Pentacles. And that's, you know, your ultimate achievement. That's what's leading you. That's your, uh, your intuition, your, your everything. Even your body is like, we got to go this way. So you're blocking something because you have a decision that you've made. And you're ready to go to that. That decision is going to lead you to your ultimate achievement. Most probably your soul calling. Because we've got the Six of Cups here in the health of it. 
and the health of it is, you know, you tapping into that, um, your imagination, tap into your, what you want, you know, into your dreams. The psychic unification of form is the queen of pentacles. She's that nurturing. You know that you, you got to nurture yourself. You got to take one step at a time. And the material world and the practical outcome is new options. New options. All right. Two of Cups, the Sun, the Hierophant. I feel like the Sun in reverse. Okay, so that's speaking volume, you know, with the Two of Cups and the Hierophant here. I feel like you're learning with the Hierophant. You're learning that something isn't balanced. That Sun being in reverse, it's like a gloomy... It's, it's not that bright, beautiful, you know, happy energy. It's, it's the opposite of that. And I feel like it's in a dynamic with you and someone else that you're in union with. You've been juggling this. But you've been learning about it. You've been, you know, you're aware of it. You're self-aware of this situation. Hmm. Let's see, what's this strength? So you're holding back. You're going in. Yeah, you're using your intuition and you're transforming like your whole perspective. You're getting a whole new perspective on what you want and what you want to deal with, you know? What kind of passions do you want? This is a lot of wands on the uh, table, you know? What are you passionate about? And that's what you're thinking. I'm not going towards anything until I get, you know, something that's going to that's going to make me happy that's going to align with my you know with everything in me what is the seven of wands six of pentacles I feel like something takes off. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius. I feel like something takes off and then all of a sudden it backslides. You know, like there's some kind of start, stop, start, stop. You know? And it's weighing you down. And usually, I mean, it's weird because usually the Knight of Wands comes in and that's how I get that. But that's not how I got it. Because the Seven of Wands is here. That's like the back off card. That's where you got blocks. You got um, your... You're not open to listening to other people's opinions. You have your own opinions, right? And then we have the Hierophant. That's your connections. That's your, um, that's you learning. That's somebody teaching you of something. Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Are you blocked from learning? No. What is this Hierophant? Something's blocking you from your success. What is it? What is this nine of wands? It's like you're standing guard of your success. But that is just wild. You're changing. Okay, listen to this. You're changing. And I feel like you're protecting yourself from anyone coming in. Wow, it's a seven of wands be in that good energy. It's because you're changing. 
you're um you're the chapter's changing, you know? So you're being defensive or you this is saying that you're blocking your happiness. Okay. And this is saying here, you know, you need to get the courage. The courage needs to be built to build down those blocks, those walls that you've built to make some decisions to bring in something that's, you know, solid. Look at this amazing energy here. Six of Pentacles. That's your equal reciprocity within your home. Being, you know, content and fulfilled and within your house, within your, you know, your whole dynamic. You learning and you having commitment and having success. So you having, like, some kind of block you have put up your you've restrained yourself and it's so it's so weird it's because of the past you okay so i see you see you have an idea look because the hanged man right here in reverse it sees all you know they're not hanging back anymore and there's an ace of wands and an ace of pentacles here so it's like you're blocking success to have success. Y'all, oh, this is throwing me. The death is here at the apex. So that's you having, tra you know, a transformation. The high priestess is like the way you think. And now you're blocking things that aren't in alignment with you. And you're building. You're like, you know what? I have to build. I have to walk away from things that aren't serving me. And I feel like you have good energy around you. All, you know, but you're just, you're in a stance of, uh, you're defensive on things. So you might not be blocking off the good. You're just defensive on what's good and what's not. You know, like, you don't want anything that's not in vi vibration with you. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Wow, that, that was hard for me to bring out. Did y'all see that? What is this Ten of Pentacles? Qualities and leadership. Yeah, you having the vision. You being that visionary leader. You making a choice. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna be, this is like mama bear energy. You know? Like, damn it, I'm gonna have my success. <laughs> like, I'm gonna protect my cubs, you know? you're protecting yourself. Well, good for you because you, you're dealing with a lot of burdens right here. Look at that. Ten, ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, King of Wands, the Chariot. You're making a decision to go straight into your success where your, you know, your wish fulfillment is just, it's you're in peace. You're just sitting at the beach soaking up the sun calm, it's loving energy. All your cups are full. What is this six of cups here? It's like things are coming together, you know? For your health, the six of cups is like you going straight to your soul calling. Speaking of your truth, healing, I really feel like there's some kind of collaboration that needs to be had. Maybe to a mother. <sighs> for a small part of you, for a very small part of you, it could be like, you overlooked a mother figure. You kind of put her on the back burner and you had a ton of success and you kind of blocked her off. Like it was always like, you know, mama got stuff to do. I got to go, you know, run to a friend's house or whatever. I got to go here with this person and that person. It was kind of like you put your mama on the back burner and it's kind of like, now within the next couple of weeks, you're kind of put her back on the front burner and kind of pay attention to her a little more. And this doesn't have to be a mother, y'all. This could be just a person in your life. 
to where you kind of overlooked them and you kind of blocked them off and you just, you know, you didn't, you didn't show them that love and compassion. You're going to do that. Let's see with this conquest, destruction, discipline. You put distance between yourself and someone else. Yeah. The world, the two of cups, the king of swords. Yeah, yeah, you were just like you were maybe even cold to them for a minute, you know? And it wasn't like intentional, I don't think. Yeah, you were off to yourself, doing your own thing. Which, I mean, y'all, we live in 2022. It's, it's busy time. We're all... We don't have time for celebration all the time, you know? So it might be somebody, literally it might be somebody that you are just too busy for. And now you're going to show them some appreciation. This Queen of Pentacles is staring at me. What about this Queen of Pentacles in the psychic universe? Yeah, you know that she just, it's not a tower. It's not going to like crumble your whole situation between the two of you. It's just been, you know, you've been busy. You've been working a lot. Probably because of the holiday season and everything else, you know. It don't matter if you believe in the holidays or not. It's still a chaotic place out there. And it's just kind of like that. It's kind of like you see it with the breakthrough. It's kind of the Ace of Swords here. Two of Swords in reverse. The Tower in reverse. It's just like, yeah, it's not that it's still that it went to the wayside. It's not that it's, you know, uh, a faulty foundation. It's just simply somebody is too busy. And so they're, they're, they're looking at the, they're looking at it in a different way. Oh, well, that makes sense because in the beginning, you know, it was like y'all were looking at your, you were going to acknowledge your, you know, a mother figure in your life. Well, that makes sense. I think the Six of Swords here is saying the science of it is you move out of that energy. What is the Six of Swords? Because it's such good energy. Work on your restrictions. Cut that restriction out. You know, whatever. And I deal with this sometimes with my dad because he takes naps. Like, uh, he takes naps at, like, one to three or something like that and that's like or three to six y'all I don't know I get it confused and he don't like to be disturbed or is that like you know what I mean like you have conflicting times conflicting schedules like one person is busy at one time and then while you're open you know and it's just like you never can get on the same page where well, you're gonna get on the same page as each other now because you're gonna work on it you're going to move forward from that that stale energy that you've been in. You're going to work on it. And you even, might even go shopping. You might go, you know, get some um, Black Fridays coming up. Might go, I don't know, have coffee or something like that. What is this justice? And this is, this is y'all falling law, you know, saying this is the inspiration. Hey, things weren't fair. And now I'm going to make it fair. Isn't that funny? It's like it's like you were waiting for a moment because you've been on your own, but you've probably had a lot of people around you or something. But it was like you were ma waiting for that moment that you had that peace and you know that downtime so you can make that phone call. Even some of y'all, the inspiration could be that you feel lonely and that you just want, you know, you want to call your mom or you want to call. <laughs> call that person that feels you know like home to you and that's that's the inspiration behind it it's like you're missing somebody in your life and I mean it's the holidays y'all like I said a minute ago it don't matter if you believe in them or not it still hits you it still it still has that energy in the air but you want to know why because everybody has that energy so it just transfers from one person to another because it's collective energy. We live off collective energy and we don't even realize it. When I woke up to that, I was I was floored. 
I was absolutely floored. That's how I can tell you a, a story through tarot and it matched somebody else in the same sun sign. You know, same moon sign, same rising sign. It's because we work off of energy collectively. What is the Seven of Cups for the material world? And I just feel like this is y'all going shopping, y'all going to have fun. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pen yeah. Learning that back and forth energy wasn't good. Not you know, you, it's a wise investment to come in and and have that happiness together. Might even offer to buy somebody something. We got the Ace of Pentacles here. That's sometimes a gift. We also got the Six of Pentacles up here. The Page of Pentacles. Might be like, well, let's go to lunch. And you'll be like, let's flip a coin and see who goes, you know, who or where we go or something. I think you're somebody is very determined to balance this. And I don't think it's like, I don't think it's wrecked. I really don't. I think it's going to end out okay. Alright, I'm going to pull the line up and see what's going on. With you next. It doesn't have to be a mother, y'all. It could be anybody that's nurturing. You know, anybody you run to that's home. I feel like that's what you're going to do. You're going to be like, I'm tired of where, you know, the Emperor, the Eight of Cups. It's like, I've been working nonstop. I'm tired. I just need to go and lay my head on a familiar bed and just, you know, or a familiar shoulder and just be able to open my emotions to vent and to say how I feel, to revive myself. Maybe even, you know, get in the family garden and just dig my hands in the dirt if I need to or whatever. I need a change of energy fast. That's what you're thinking. I need a change of energy fast. And it's like you're it seems like you're just going to run home. You can go somewhere that feels like home for sure. And I feel like it's something that you weren't really planning in the beginning. You were like holding back from it. But, I mean, you were holding back because you were busy, right? Okay, yeah. The emperor, it's like whatever you were working on, you see that it's not a wise investment to stay so restrained and so uh, restricted and not able to uh, go and, and be with your family. You know, you were like, this is not worth it. This situation wasn't worth it me missing out on you know that that good home meal that's exactly what you're saying you are analyzing your emotions and you're like i need to move away from this the hangman is in reverse i'm not hanging back no more i'm walking away from this restricted energy that i'm in you know this situation at work or whatever i'm at we're in my apartment and all cold and lonely it's not a wise investment for me i'm not getting anything out of it. i'm not getting happiness i'm not getting abundance and you sat there and you thought about that and you analyzed that for a minute and you were like oh okay well you know what it's time for me to pack my bags i'm going i'm getting on that airplane and i'm going to go home i'm going to get creative huh with this page of cups and it's almost like you know that page of cups is she's like a, she feels good you know she's just that loving caring energy three of swords reverse the world five of cups this situation is going to move you out of that uh that sad you know that just down that hard energy that's hard energy there. The Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. I mean, it's in reverse, but it's still hard energy. And the world's here. It's like you're going to free yourself from this. You might even be going to like a vacation house. 
if it isn't, you know, to home. It could be, it could be anywhere. That's going to make you feel happier. What's this moon? Could be going on a cruise. <clears throat> Somewhere you can heal. I feel like something was exposed on a level like there was there was somebody that exposed something in a dynamic of yours you know like maybe a secret was I don't know you weren't on the same page as that person maybe that person extended their energy to someone else and you found out something happened and you need healing you've been through some deception and I feel like with the seven of swords in reverse with the moon upright I feel like this was something that was hidden and it was just spewed out in uh, you know in just a few words it was something like you know we're not on the same page I don't want to do this anymore and you were like what I need to go to my mama. I need to go home. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all. I got that. That is strong energy coming in. Of, I want to go home. And I mean, this is this is. I want to go home. An adult. You know. I understand that. I've been there. I've been Now you could live at a far distance from home. And you're about to you're about to distance yourself from where you are. The judgment, King of Pentacles, you're gonna revive yourself, your your security, feel insecure. You have options. Two of Cups. Okay now. So this person's gonna want to come back. You gonna pick up? You gonna go home for the holidays for for Thanksgiving week probably? You gonna go home and this person's gonna be like, no, come back. But I got the Page of Swords in reverse. I don't think you're gonna. What's the Seven of Pentacles? It's gonna be frustrating for you to get away, but you know that this is the only your wisest. This is your highest, you know, you're, you're conscious that this is a wise idea for you to cut this off, this situation that you were in, whether it be you just being lonely. You could be with someone else, you know, that you, and it's just like, no, I'm just, I'm going home. I'm not looking back. Eight of Wands, Swift Energy, Ten of Swords, your ending it. Six of Swords. The breakthrough happened. Six of Swords, Five of Swords. You see that? That's a different page. You're you're on a totally different page as someone else. And you're walking away from that. Now it doesn't have to be, like I said, it's just the energy. It doesn't have to be a person. It could it could be a person for sure. But it's like something happened. You lived in one area. Something happened, and uh, and you want to go home. You're ready. You're just like I want to go somewhere where I feel like I'm loved. I feel like I'm seen. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm comfortable. Um, I don't want to end it on that. I don't want to end it on that. Aquarius. You might just 
be staying at home this week, you know? Or, you know, if your home is your home, like, you know what I mean? Like, if your home truly is your home, if you're not, like, um, if you're not seeking out other places in your home, like, my home is my home. Like, there's nowhere else. Like, I could go to my mama's house, but that's her house. I've moved out when I was very young. So, what I have created is now my home. So, if I went somewhere else, you know, I would want... So, what I'm saying is you might be somewhere else. And you might, like, no, I just want to go to where I live, you know. Or, you could be where you live in another state away from where you grew up or something and you just miss your hometown and you're ready to go see your your family however all right let's see oh that one is wanting law is not justice rules that are not fair you got the you got the uh justice card in your inspiration I feel like this would happen. I feel like you maybe, like, you moved out of a place and you went somewhere else. Maybe it was because of a person. And you just, you know, you were you were feeling, like, that freedom, you know. You were out of the house and this and that. But somebody just, they had empty words. They were angry. They were just, you know, they didn't keep their temper and it was just like, wow, you know, if I stay here, I'm just drinking poison. I'm not, you know, I'm not bringing justice to myself by staying here. So you're learning, and you're learning what you want, and you're learning that you're not getting that through, out. you know, there's something. So you're like, you know what, there's something else out there for me, and you're going to discover that, whatever's out there. And you could do that. It says to shine bright like a candle, you will make it through this. So it's like, okay, if you did have a situation where you have to move out of a house and you have to go back home, you're going to make it through it and you're going to build yourself back up and you're going to find the right way this time instead of, you know, doing it the other way. There's um, resilience here. So this is you bouncing back. You know, you coming back stronger, braver. You know, you're growing. You're getting a new perspective on things. Things are going to happen um, at a rapid pace after you you leave this situation. Whatever that wasn't justice. Whatever wasn't justice in your life. Whatever was bringing in anger and bringing in empty words and and... Whoever was promising you things that just wasn't coming true and wasn't, you know, whoever wasn't fair to you. When you leave that situation, you're going to discover. You're going to wake up and you're going to see that you're going to, you're going to find something else. Because you're learning that you no longer desire this situation and you're just ready to, you're ready to move on. Okay, well, you're going to do it. You're going to become braver. Look at her. She's, you're going to stand up for what you believe in. Don't let this. Don't let this anger rule you. And I don't mean your anger. I mean somebody else's anger. You know? Look at that. It's so mean looking. Don't let somebody else's anger rule you because you're growing out of that look up like 
you're so sweet and innocent and you don't you don't deserve that you're trying to become stronger it says do not drink poison and that's what you're coming into a place where you're realizing hey if I stay in this situation it's not you know it's not good it's not healthy for me right now if I stay in this situation it's just not going to end right Bring justice to yourself. Okay? You can. You can like, make it through it. You're gonna make it through this. I know. I'm, I mean, if I... Having to go back home... Y'all, do see that? Oh my gosh. Having to go back home would be very hard, you know? I understand that really do so I I hope that it's a positive um, experience and everything works out it looks like it is it really does I think it's patience have patience live in the here and now you know new things are gonna come for you I really feel like that okay Aquarius thank y'all very much I appreciate y'all y'all have a beautiful evening love and light to y'all and y'all watch out i'm gonna have um december readings coming out this monday i think i'm gonna try to get them out by this weekend all right y'all have a great one love and light bye bye